Hey friends, welcome to this video on Azure Pipeline Agents. In this video, we will see the difference between Microsoft hosted and self hosted agents and when to use each one. Firstly, let's talk about Microsoft hosted agents. These agents are provided by Microsoft and run in the cloud. They come pre installed with a variety of tools and frameworks, so you don't need to worry about installing them yourself. Microsoft hosted agents are perfect for small projects or for teams that don't have dedicated infrastructure. If you see my screen and this pipeline, if I go to the plan apply dev, you will see the pool is Azure pipelines. That is the Microsoft hosted agents. The image is Ubuntu latest that we had provided in our YAML and the agent is hosted agent which is Microsoft hosted. If we go back to our pipelines and the other pipelines we will see the self hosted agent. If you see the logs the pool is default which is where our self hosted agent resides. The name is fitness geek. Self-hosted agents are the agents that you set up and manage yourself. You can run them on your infrastructure such as virtual machines or on-premises hardware. Self-hosted agents give you more control over your build environment and you can customize them with specific tools or dependencies. So when you should use which one of them? Well, if you have a small project and you don't have dedicated infrastructure, Microsoft hosted agents are a great choice. They are easy to set up and use and you don't need to worry about maintaining them. However, if you have more complex projects or needs to use specific tools or dependencies, self-hosted agents are the way to go. Let's go ahead and compare both the Microsoft hosted agents and self-hosted agents in more details. So let's compare them with the features. If you see the maintenance, for Microsoft, Microsoft hosted agents, you don't need to do anything. Everything is maintained and managed by Microsoft. And when you come to self-hosted agents, you have to take care of everything. Even updating your agents and if you need to update underlying uh, OS or you need to you know, patch your uh, security updates on your Windows system or your Linux system, everything has to be managed by you. In terms of availability, uh, the Microsoft has hosted agents are always available uh, because it is always, you know, uh, hosted by Microsoft. So they make sure that it's always available. Uh, the self-hosted agents, uh, obviously, it depends on your underlying infrastructure. As long as your virtual machine that uh, you run on is active and, you know, live and online, it, it will be, you know, running. And if it is offline for some reason and you have a downtime, then your agents won't be available. In terms of speed, uh, Microsoft hosted agents may be slower because there is a shared usage. That's where you need to purchase more uh, parallel jobs. Self-hosted agents will be faster depending on your underlying uh, virtual machine. So you can always add more power to your virtual machine. Uh, in terms of security, Microsoft manages everything in the Microsoft hosted agents. So you don't need to worry about that. Uh, the self-hosted agents, uh, we are responsible for the security of it. Uh, in terms of customizability, uh, it's uh, the Microsoft hosted agents are pretty limited because uh, whatever is pre-installed, uh, that, that that's what you get, and you might need to install further anything if you need. Uh, in self-hosted agents, you have full control of what you want to install, so you can have everything pre-installed, and you don't have to worry about it. Cost, uh, yes, obviously, uh, Microsoft hosted agents, uh, they have there is a free tier that you can use, but other than that, you'll have to keep purchasing the parallel jobs uh, it's not that expensive uh, but yeah definitely you will need to buy more power uh, more parallel jobs uh, in terms like in case you you have a queue and uh, other jobs are waiting for one of the you know uh, tasks to complete and then uh, there are queues so for that you might need to buy more parallel jobs uh, in terms of self-hosted agents, no additional cost. We bear uh, all the entire infrastructure cost, the virtual machine, the licenses involved and everything. So yeah, this is a brief comparison of uh, our Microsoft hosted agents and self-hosted agents. Uh, 
Microsoft hosted ones uh, are you know you know good if you actually do not have a vast uh, owned uh, your own infrastructure and you just want to quickly spin up something and you just want to use pass all the time so these are great but you will always have issues uh, if if you have for example if you have a virtual machine in your vnet and you want to host something intern like for your internal company then obviously you will need your self hosted agents uh, there are also cases that i've seen like uh, for example azure app services uh, you want uh, to you know tightly uh, control the security so you don't allow uh, anything other than uh, a front end or uh, or a api gateway to uh, connect with your app service but then you need to whitelist uh, the azure devops uh, so, uh, the service tag so that you can continue with the deployments so in case you you don't want to do that you don't want to allow the entire azure devops service uh, you know tag or then you what you can do is you can have a self-hosted agent uh, where you know the public ip and you can just whitelist that public ip in your app service so your deployment uh, do not get uh, you know uh, don't fail and you have more secure environment so yeah that's that's all for today uh, this was something that was pending for a long time and yeah thanks for watching and keep supporting